All right, guys, so in this video, we're gonna be taking a look at the new Pocket RGB light from WeLight, which are small Bluetooth video panels that can fit literally in your pockets and can save you if you're in a pinch in a low light situation, or for example, if you're into shooting product B-roll, it can be extremely useful in those scenarios as well. So first, I'm gonna be doing a quick unboxing to show you what's in the box. Then we're gonna be talking about build quality, how it works, then show you the app, which is one of the best apps I have ever used for a video like, like this one before. So let's check it out. All right guys, so inside the box, you're gonna find your typical instructions, which are in Chinese and English. One of the actual pages on the manual also includes a QR code where you can download the app on the App Store or the Google Play Store. Then you're gonna find a cold shoe adapter to mount the lights on your camera. Then you're gonna see that charging cable, which is a USB-C cable that can charge the video lights in all the three hours, giving you 60 minutes of runtime at 100% of use. Then you're gonna find the actual light, which is made completely out of plastic, which is expected at this price point of only $29 on Amazon. It weighs 72 grams, which is super lightweight. The light only has one button, which is the on and off button. And besides that, you have to do the rest on the app. Color temperature goes from 2500 Kelvin all the way to 85,000. It has a maximum power of four watts, CRI of 95, which is very good for shooting video. And you can control the lights up to 20 meters in distance with a Bluetooth app. All right guys, so now that we get the unboxing out of the way, let me show you the app, which is one of the coolest part of this pocket RGB lights. As you can see here, once you download the app on the App Store, you can control up to six lights with just a single app. In this case, I'm just using one, but for example, if you have two or multiple lights, you're gonna be able to control everything just with a single app, as you can see here. And very super responsive, there's basically zero lag once you click on a button. For now, I'm gonna be focusing just on one so you can see how it works. First, we have the color temperature tab right here where you can change the color temperature from 2500 Kelvin all the way to 85,000 Kelvin. Or you can also change the green and magenta values yourself just by sliding here on this tab. And again, you can see that it's very responsive. Once I move the slider, it just changes immediately. If you want to use specific preset, you can do that as well, just by pressing here. You got from 3000 Kelvin all the way to 7000 Kelvin. And again, you can see how responsive it is. Once I click something, it just changes immediately. Then to go back, you can press right here. It takes you to the previous menu. Now you see the uh, hue and saturation tab, where again, you can choose whatever color that you want to use. And also allows you to decrease or increase the intensity uh, of the light. If we go back, now you can do the same using the X and Y coordinate. And again, you can see how responsive it is. Everything changes just immediately. Let you change it like this. And again, it lets you change the intensity of the light as well. You can go back here. My favorite is the effect tabs. As you can see, you got plenty of different effects that you can choose from. You got flash, you got SOS, you got candlelight, uh, TV, and if you go to the RGB tab, you're gonna have more than 20 different effects uh, to choose from. You're gonna have the same one as a color temperature tab, but the uh, but in the RGB tab is gonna give you more ambulance, fire truck, romantic scene. I don't know what that is, but like if you have a scene that is romantic, club. So it's very useful and again very responsive. You can change intensity. Let's lower it here. Let's do the flash. Candlelight again. So as you can see, you have plenty of different uh, scenes that you can choose from. 
and it's super good specifically if you're doing product b-roll or or using this little light as fill light all right guys that's it for today i hope you enjoyed the video click the like button if you liked it and don't forget to subscribe for more camera filmmaking and tech videos see you in the next one